In this video, we are going to cover the necessary components that you need to understand before you install Active Directory. So following are the minimum or the fundamental informations that you need to understand before you install an Active Directory. That is domain, tree, forest, trust, schema and global catalog servers. The first one is what is a domain? A domain is defined as a logical group of network objects. So what are objects? Objects are the computers, users and devices. These are known as objects. So objects of an organization in an active directory stored in the active directory database and they logically grouped by a domain. So this is what a domain is. So for example, Adams Health dot online is the domain and the users computers groups uh, printers other devices belongs to the Adams health will be joined to this domain and the in this information the objects information will be stored in Adams health dot online database so there it forms a domain now think about uh, having users computers and devices of a large company in one domain and this company is spread across a different part of the world it is difficult to manage of course uh, active directory can handle millions of objects but that is not the uh, matter the matter is about how you manage it so for the ease of management sometime it is good to logically separate the users objects and the computers based upon the regions or based upon the countries so a simple example adams healthcare expanded to other countries so in order to manage the users and computers efficiently you can create subdomains or child domains for example the branches in uk can be uh, noted as uk dot adams health dot online or the branches in usa can be um, organized as usa.adamshealth.online here adamshealth.online is the road domain and the uk and usa.adamshealth.online are subdomains so there it forms a tree so what is common here so in a tree there are one or more domain and subdomains follow the same address what the parent domains hold so here the parent domain is Adams health dot online and the subdomains also follow the same namespace in addition to that the subdomain is uk or usa this is how we can logically separate it so uh, the advantage here is a logical separation ease of management so we can summarize a tree is a collection of multiple domain follow same parent namespace the next one is forest as we know a forest is full of trees and in the example I have two trees so a forest contains multiple trees and domains but you can see the uh, second tree in this forest follow a different namespace than the first one and the forest namespace is Adam's health so you can have different domains uh, with a different namespace you can form all together in one forest you can organize multiple domains multiple trees in one forest so what is the advantage the advantage is it share the same catalog same uh, directory schema logical structure and directory configuration so this will help you to provide access to resources from one uh, domain to other domain um, so this uh, give you like a better logical separation better management of users and objects so this will also add advantage when you want to uh, share permission or resources uh, from one domain to uh, the user in the another domain so now we explained about domain tree and forest so you may think uh, I created domain first then tree then forest so this is how it works no the moment you create your first domain controller it create a forest and a tree and once you add your child domain or subdomain the tree get expand 
and uh, the moment you add like a different uh, domain controller to the same forest then the uh, forest get expand but uh, once you create a domain controller you create a forest and also a tree so this is how it is and it is not like you create a domain then whenever you have multiple uh, domains then you create forest no it is not like that the moment you create a first domain controller you create a forest and also a tree and later on if you want to add a new domain controller to the same forest there is an option when you install the active directory add this domain controller to an existing forest or add this to a new forest we will be seeing this soon but just explained for your understanding when we speak about forest we told it share same schema so what is a schema a schema defines what kind of data you can store in a database so if you know about database you might have created uh, uh, integer in this column then a string in this column date and time in this column so this is similar to that ad schema defines what objects and attributes and other things that you can store in an active directory database so all domains in a forest share the same schema then coming to trust trust enable you to grant access to users groups and computers across entities so when you create a tree uh, with a child domain and parent domain the trust between the parent and child domains are created automatically and also when you form a uh, trees and then uh, multiple domains in a forest the the trust between these trees are also created automatically so as there is a trust exist between the domain controllers in a forest you will be able to provide access for users groups and computers for the resources that exist in other domains that comes in one forest a simple example you have a user in adams health dot online domain and uh, you want to provide access to a file or a folder in adams uh, pharmacy uh, domain so what you can do is you can right click on the folder as you do then from the properties you can search for the user as it in the same forest as there is a trust exist you will be able to find or query the user in the another domain then you will be able to add and provide permission so that is what the advantage of trust you get all the uh, capability of this logical separation but as there is a trust exist you still able to provide access to the users across the entities now coming to the global catalog server when you install a domain controller you can mark it as a global catalog server so as it named a catalog it hold a full writable copy of its domain and a partial writable copy of the objects in the other domain in the same forest so think about your adams online the the domain controller in an adams online is a global catalog server so what it will have it will have all the a writable copy of its domain and a partial writable copy of adams pharmacy dot online so as we have a catalog in adam pharma dot online with a partial information of adam health dot online you will be able to see the users computers devices which means the objects in adam health will be visible from adam pharma domain because the catalog the global catalog hold complete information of its domain and a partial information of its other domains in the same forest so this is how we gonna uh, query the user and assign permissions uh, once we have multiple domains in one forest so we have completed with some of the main components of active directory in the next video we will see how to spin a virtual machine in azure and then we're gonna install active directory so that is all see you in the next video